Mike Tyson punch out's a game I had way back when I was a kid in the 80s. I was beating it back then, and I'm, I'm still beating it now. Um, the timer starts as soon as I hit the start button on the clock here. I'm running my own splits. I'm wearing a gorgeous, glorious pink jumpsuit in commemoration of Little Mac and his, hero, and his uh, movements here. So I'm going to hit the button on three, two, one, go. All right. First fight's Glass Joe. This is a fully buffered fight. Um, buffering, for those of you who don't know, is there's there's spaces when you're doing movements and you can't uh, it, make any actions happen. Uh, when you buffer a move, you hold the buttons down and it happens at its first available opportunity. This allows you to do some frame-perfect punches. We're going to do a very specific set of inputs here. We're going to do 22 face punches, followed by two right gutters, followed by two left gutters, and he's going to go down. See? 22-2. There you go. Just like that, we're underway in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, our biggest RNG in a lot of these fights is just him getting up or trying to get up or not get up. Um, and just like that, out you go. You guys probably just witnessed an often tied world record of 42 seconds on Clash Joe, which has happened thousands, if not millions of times. We're rolling. 42 flat. Next fight, Von Kaiser. Our goal here is to get him to give us a star. When he gets a star, we use that star. We stun him, we knock him down. Repeat the process. Very short fights into early going of the game. Eighth punch, he's going to give us one. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Forcing the punch. Boom. Stun. Bob's your uncle. Down he goes. That's one. Now we're just going to get him in his crouch. When he gets in his crouch, we're going to pop him in the stomach, pick up a star. And as soon as we can, go punch. Off he goes. Now we have a star now, so we're going to buffer two left dodges, followed by that star punch, uh, to get him out of here at about 39 seconds. So here we go. Let's go. There's a one and a two and a Blamarino. Down goes Mr. VK. Easy game. Gets a little harder after this. Still lost time on a split due to RNG. I'm not worried about that. Our next fight is Piston Honda, the champion of the minor circuit. He, We're going to manipulate his weak, slow guard. He has a really slow guard. So we're going to... Force him to raise his guard by pressing up, letting go of up, and then body punching him three times and generating three stars. That's going to be the backbone of what we do here. We have some things RNG-wise we need to worry about. There's three stars. We're going to use them right away. Two, three. Do it again. Oh, boy. He went, he went rogue on me here. So we have, he he tried to he tried to go off the program on us and do what's called Skynet. Fun fact about Mike Tyson punch out: character gets up on the count of one. The next start punch knocks him right out. You just hold that start button and let the magic take place. He's out. He's out. Our goal here is to do the same process again. Get him before one minute, which we probably didn't do. No, we did not. Which is fine. He's gonna do his business. That's a bummer. That's okay. That's a third knockdown. That's our backup strat. He went He went all book on us there. He really did us dirty. And we made him pay for it. You know, with extreme violence. And there we are. Celebrating the championship of the minor circuit. Not the best time in the world, but given what he gave us in this particular run, it's pretty good. I'll take it. Um, we're going to enjoy a nice run across the, uh, across the, Brook on the Brooklyn side there. You know? If you're watching me in my pink tracksuit, I'm running right now. I'm getting it in. I'm getting my road work in on a Friday night. Don't know if I could run this far these days. I'm getting old. <laughs> I used to have this game when I was a kid. <laughs> What's that tell you? Uh, next fight is Don Flamenco 2. Don Flamenco 2 is the shortest fight in the run. We're going to force him to attack us. We're going to buffer two inputs to get a star. Use the star for the first knockdown. Very simple. We'll have plenty of time to talk about this because there's more downtime than fight time. So we're going to buffer a stomach punch, get him to attack us, and go, into, go to work. And just like that, down you go. This is a fight that anybody can world record in. 1497 is a world record. We're going to wait for him to swing at us. We're going to wait a pause a fraction of a second, and then go at him at fast punches. There you go. That That's either a 1499 or a 1497, which is the world record for this fight. 
It's it's impressive, but it's not. There's probably 120 people who have one. It's nothing you're gonna talk about on the first day, but we love it. It's very exciting to get a 1497. I think I might have done it there. I'm not sure. Let's find out. Let's see. There you go. There's a world record. You didn't expect to see a world record today, did you? Next, King Hippo. Wait for his mouth to open. Um, that's basically the strat. If you hit him in the first five frames, you can get ten shots instead of nine. You can do a three cycle at best, but he's got to cooperate. He's not. He's not cooperating at all. There you go. There you go. Okay, that's two. Did we get him? Nope. We got him. He needs to cooperate. Come on, go. 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 Go, come on. Go. Do the thing. There you go. I should have forced myself into pink. Whatever. He he was a real pain in my cheeks there, but we got through it. <laughs> well said, Moira. He did us dirty there. Next, we're coming up on a very fun fight. By fun, I mean stressful. The Great Tiger fight's next. The Great Tiger fight has no RNG in it. We just have to do it right, which is not always free. Our goal here is to force three stars. Use two of them. So we're going to try this here. One. Two. Three. We use one. We use two. Let's force another one. Force another one to start hit. Buffer start into a punch. Down he goes. Once again, he's going to get up on a one. Second hardest fight in the game. We're going to hit start. We got a star punch buffer. Blamo. Got him again. That's two. He's going to get up on one again. And his spade is already sealed. He doesn't know how bad he has it. because And we're about to show him. Just like that. That's a low 48. I've done a 47.99. That's a low 48. That's pretty good. We'll take that in this run. Save a little time on our split to boot. I'm currently, oh, gold split. I'm currently slamming RC Cola because <laughs> I'm all nervous. Next, this is the world champion of the, the major circuit, Bald Bull. We're going to do the whole first phase as buffered inputs, mostly buffered inputs. Get him out of here in 17 seconds. So watch this. Face punch, face punch, star punch. Face punch, star punch. Face punch, star punch. Face punch, guard goes down, pop him. 17 seconds, here you go. I can almost taste the gold. Coming out of this phase, our job is to get star punches and use them. We're going to try to buffer a punch here. Wait for his guard to go down. Not bad. Okay. Okay, we're just going to just try to pick up one more star. Not going to cooperate. That's okay. We'll take him two times there. We have one star left. We're going to repeat that process. Get him out of here hopefully around 120, 125 or so. So we're going to try to, we're going to let him punch. And we're going to, we're going to let him punch. We're going to pick up stars. And we're going to get to work here. See, there's a punch. Intercept and go. Quick dodge. Intercept and go. Charge. One, two. Nope. Missed it up. One, two. There you go. Doesn't matter. Down he goes. 129. And we're the champion. You didn't think you'd witness so much greatness in 8 minutes and 30x seconds, did you? But here, here it is. Alright, now we move on to real hard fights. Real challenges. The world circuit. We're moving out of our small town. We're running at night now. We're pretty tough, so we're not worried about being attacked. We're wearing a pink tracksuit, but we don't care. We're just feeling ourselves right now. The first fight in this uh, world circuit is Piston Honda 2. The Piston Honda 2 fight's another fully buffered fight. It requires exactly 38 buffered inputs in a row. And there's a Statue of Liberty. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna turn ourselves pink, we're gonna punch him in the body, run out of stars, do 16 right dodges, two left gutters. We're gonna win this fight. We're gonna send Piston Honda on the lightless walk in about 60.9 seconds. Let's see if we can do it. I don't need to count these, but I will probably want to count the dodges because 
If I mess them up, it will be pretty embarrassing. 19, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, and 2. And out he goes. Easy game. Baby buffer game. Count the lights. Count the lights, Honda. Count them. Easy. Let's just wait. Wait there. Oh, he's wasting my time. All right, get up. Serviceable split for us. There's not much you can do in an RTA run. You just got to do it right and get out of here. All right. Next fight. Next fight is real. the real final boss for a lot of people. Piss and Honda. Or I'm sorry, Soda Popinski. Soda Popinski has a an exploitable weakness. When he goes, he's going to start with two hooks. He's going to go down for uppercuts, and when he does. We're going to press down and freeze him, hopefully. Oh, he's wetting the hooks again. Come on. There you go. Cancel. He freezes. The next uppercut knocks him down. You make him off balance, and you knock him down. We're going to repeat that process three times. The RNG here is that he needs... To, if, he, if he does a second set of hooks, we need to be aware of it. So we're just going to pay attention to him and play by his rules here. We're going to be very careful not to run out of hearts. See, he's trolling us here a little bit. There you go. Got him anyway. It's a little sloppy, but he threw me off by not cooperating. Um, Soda is not always a bro. There's a three and four chance he's going to give you what you want, but if he doesn't give you what you want, you're going to be pretty irritated at him. Okay, down you go. Thank you. There you go. And fight's over. He, another guy who did us dirty, very so slightly. I mean, that cost us a nice hunk of time just because he didn't do his part in his own demise. Easy game. Let's go. Next fight, Ball Bull 2. This fight is all about the start. We're going to try to time his rolling jabs and turn two, that into two stars. Um, it'll be long or short depending on how this phase goes right here. One. Not great, but whatever. We'll, we're going to force him to attack. Farm stars off of him. He doesn't always... There's a small chance that he doesn't cooperate with you. You gotta knock him down with a star punch or in the bull charge, and he always gets up on nine. So don't get your hopes up. Phase one, we're about six seconds behind a pretty good uh, single segment run, so we didn't lose a lot of time. He's gonna do his ear rub. We're gonna pop and pick up a free star. Let him give us another one. Counter and punch. Counter and punch, farm another star to get us ready for phase three. And off you go. So, that's it. Piece of cake. He's going to get up on nine. What we're going to do is we're going to get a star punch out of his ear rub. Then we're going to let him punch at us. We're going to counter punch him twice with a right hand. Repeat that process twice, and then he off he goes. There's our star punch. One, two. Boom. Three, four, and fight over. That's a pretty good fight and a pretty good split for me. We'll take it. That'll get us... There's no way it was that good. No way it was that good, right? Wow, that's a good split for us. We are back ahead. Don Flamenco 2 is a bit of an auto-scroller. Our, our drop here is to four stars out of him. He forced the stars out of him out of like the sixth punch, I believe. So we're going to dodge and counter punch. Body punch, force the star to second one, and just repeat that process. Lather, rinse, and repeat on him. One, two, three, four. Intercept, intercept, dodge, punch, go. Do it again. One, two, three, four. Intercept, intercept, dodge, punch, go. We picked up a lucky star. I'm not going to mess with it. Thank you for noticing, Boomsticks. So, same process here. Um, yeah, I think we're going to do the same process. One, two, three. There's no point in hurrying here. Three, four. Okay, repeat it again. One, two, three, four. He's going to go into weird pattern here at 130 with the cat. He has to counter punch us. We're going to knock him down. He's going to get up. He's going to mat, mat, mat at us. We're going to keep attacking him until he counter punches us. When he counter punches us, we're going to go left, left, right for a total of 13 times. Use that star punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Bob's your uncle. Get out of my dreams and get into my splits, Don, too pretty simple the game really gets fun i mean hard now i suppose 
That's a pretty cooperative Don. We're 2.3 seconds behind our pace. What we're going to do here against Mr. Sandman is we're going to try to do as much damage as we can in his rolling jab sessions. We're going to hold up to manipulate his guard, quick dodge, and body punch. And do this till 50 seconds. So I'm going to need to think about this. Manipulate his guard. One. Nope. Three. Four. Boy. Five. We're fine. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, boy. At 50 seconds, we're going to counter punch. Face and buffer. We're going to punch. Quick dodge, gut punch. Face, quick dodge, gut punch. Our guys, our job is to get this first knockdown before 1.30, before he goes into his Dreamline Express, which is his best, it's our best efforts, or our best opportunity to harm him. We're at 125. We had a bit of a rough start, but it's all forgivable here. We're gonna do this one time, do one hook sequence. He's gonna do his business. We're gonna dodge, we're gonna face punch, we're gonna hit him 15 straight times, get a ton of damage out of him, make ourselves feel good. Now we wait. Apparently forever. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, buffer jump 5. And back to business. Back to the business of killing. Killing is our business chat, and business is good. Down he goes at 210. Well, Mora, you may not know this, but I am talking to a, a, a huge audience who is. I'm in a marathon right now. So we're talking to a big audience of people that don't know me. So our goal is just to keep punching, getting him out of here. Time looks tight, but we're fine. He gave us some he gave us some hard times, but ultimately good prevails. The heroes always win in retro gaming, do they not? There you go. 246. He's down on to the championship of the world circuit. Solid split, not great. There you go, and we're on. Next fight, Super Macho Man. We call him Boob Man here in this stream. Our goal here is the, and the first interaction with him is to do what's called the Dizzy Destroyer. We're gonna force his guard up, body punch, and then buffer a face punch to get a star. That's gonna start a fast process for us. Then we're gonna go into a similar pattern that we did against, um, against Sandman to get stars off in that way. Nice. See, look at that, very familiar. Two, three. Messed up one there. Down he goes. He's going to come out into his spin a -rooney here. We're going to try to get a couple quick shots on him. We're going to manipulate his guard and hit select here. Thank you, copy. No. Oh, got too greedy. It's okay, we're fine. This sucks, but we're fine. This sucks, but we're fine. Oh boy, flew too close to the sun. We're back to back to the drawing board here. We're fine. Back to the drawing board. He got us. We got a little greedy. It's a speed run, right? We're trying to shoot the moon here. It happens. We're fine. We're just going to try to get one off on him. Getting too cute sometimes for our own good. There we go. Out of there at 141. We took some chances that time. It didn't kill us. You know, I mean, it kind of hurts a little bit. I'm emotionally scarred, but I'll be all right. And just like that, guys, we have fought our way through 13 fights with the only enemy in front of us. The ultimate retro gaming challenge. The Mike Tyson. How great is it that you get to fight a real person at the end of this game. It's like playing Castlevania and you fight Bela Lugosi at the end. Our goal here is to get a first round TKO. This is a very execution heavy fight and I need some RNG help. Um, our goal is just one not get hit, two score frame perfect hits. Nope. We're already off to a tremendous start. Well, and it's a second delay too. Yeah, boy, we're we're in Dutch here. This is going around two. 
I don't think if Summoning Salt came down himself, I don't think he's gonna fix this for me. That's fine. Um, so what we're gonna do here, because we didn't have a great start and we got some bad RNG, is that we're gonna focus on getting a almost knocked down at the end of the phase here and set ourselves up for a nice, quick, uh, a nice early round two. That's my goal here. Man, he is just playing games with my heart right now, isn't he? It's a shame. The last run I did, I got him in the first round pretty comfortably. So we're just going to milk this guy like the low cow that he is. We're just going to wait. We're just going to wait. We're just going to wait. It's okay. We're going to wait. You guys are going to see some rare round two strats. Which kind of sucks, but, you know, that's gaming. That's what happens when you got to do it right now. <laughs> So we're going to round two, which is disappointing. Um, I figured this run would take us about 2130 or so. We'll get real good there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna push down to block. As soon as he punches, we're gonna left gut and get a free gut punch and a star off of him. Just like that. And we're gonna do this until 30 seconds. He's gonna go into his hooks and his uppercuts, and we're just gonna box and we're gonna box and counter punch like we know how to do. There you go. Take the damage. Take the damage. We're okay. We're gonna watch the clock. That's two. Down he goes. He's gonna get up. We're going to go into a slow left dodge, quick right dodge, punch in the face and get a star off of him, and that should be about all she wrote. The, the thing that I said just happened. There you go. Oh, he's gonna make you wait. And there he goes. We're one punch off. The counter, the timer stops once the screen transitions off of Mike Tyson and into the congratulations screen and time. There you go, guys. 21-36. Mike Tyson's punch-out RTA. Not my best run, but neither is it one that I'm ashamed to share. Um, uh, before I get sent off to the next thing, I want to say thank you very much to Dave for letting me participate and to Kat for all the work they do on setting this stuff up, all the runners. I like being part of this stuff. I'm kind of a semi-retired speedrunner, and it's great to get back in the game and try to do something again, you know? So thank you to everybody who's there. I'm not sure when I'm getting pulled off or when you're going to switch off, but great times. Thank you very much, guys. Um, I guess I'm waiting here. We can do it. Let's do some... Uh, I want to do some Tyson practice while we're waiting. Moira, thank you for the GGs, Boomsticks, Compy, Jedi, Sots, Shadow. It was fun. I just wish I'd done a little better. Nasty business. Go give, East, go give uh, Junkyard Dave a follow. Give me a follow. Why not? <laughs> I'm sweating in my basement in a pink tracksuit for for myself. Matthew, welcome in. Thank you, buddy. Let me see if I'm even still on over there. I, I should be looking. Ooh, Trick-A-Teen, trick a B-Sod, ja Juice Willis. Thank you for follows. Junkyard Dave gave me a nice big, a nice big heavy butt shout out. That's good. Thank you. That's part of the reason you participate in this stuff. I'm actually going to see what he's doing so I can see what's going on. And that's me. We did it, baby! That's how you do it. Excellent. That's a lot of fun. I could run some back. I'm going to see if, I mean, if I'm still on. I might as well just try to do one real quick. Until, until I'm not officially not on there anymore. Uh, we got a gold in that run, too. Watch me pull out like a 230 right now. While we're screwing around. No problem, Dave. I got it. Better punches already. No. See, I'm scoring more frame perfects here, which I just didn't have in the first fight. I mean, there, there are cats out there that can do this all day, every day, too. Your boy ain't one of them. A little bit better phase one.
I, I might be able to pull this off. We'll see. Nope. Ugh. Woof. Golly. Nope. I'm trying to be tight here and it ain't working. The dream has died. We'll finish the fight. We're not even getting any crits here. Woof. Woof. Not, I mean, I guess better, but barely. What a, what a, what a, what a flaccid attempt at speed gaming. Let's try it again. Alright, let's get him again. I'm just gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing it until it's clear that I'm not play, that I'm not being watched here. Then I'll be great at this game. That's what happens. I'm like that singing frog from the Looney Tunes. What's up, KB? Thanks, bud. Then why am I doing this again? I don't need to do this again. It didn't get a, I didn't get a round one. Let's try. Why am I sitting here doing a thing that I know how to do? Yes, we're gonna try one more. It's okay. It's nothing I haven't done. Nothing I haven't failed to do a million times. All right, let's go. My game phase is on. You can't see it, but I am serious as a heart attack right now. How you doing, Raspy? All right, let's go. Come on, Tom. There you go. Good rhythm. No! Oversold myself. We'll try we're gonna try to fix this. We're gonna try to fix it. We might not be bone here. We're we're bone. Wolf. Uh, I, I was in a good pattern. He lulls you into a thing. I'm a, yes, that's right, critical. <laughs> I'm wearing a nice, sweaty, pink tracksuit right now for basically lulls. I mean, sure, I look good, but what cost? At what cost is beauty, am I right? At what cost is beauty, Chad? At what cost is beauty? <sighs> well, I wish I hadn't stepped in it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Come on now. There you go. No, baby, no. Eight second delay. Give me an eight second delay there, too. Of course, now I'm just killing crits now. Just getting all these crits now, too. Alright, go. Whenever you're ready, you can dip on out of here. This one ain't gonna work either, I can tell you that. Save you, save you the time. I didn't do enough. That's right. All right. You got somewhere else to go? You should go there. This ain't getting any better. No worries, Dave. Thanks a lot. Good night, everybody. Follow me on Twitch. Bye. <laughs>